Here with Gary Ramey from Honor Defense. And many of you have seen the video where we kind of took some extreme measures to um, check to see if these guns were drop safe. One of the things that really came to Gary's attention and uh, we had a couple of things that happened. So Gary, uh, what are we here today? We're gonna do some upgrades. And first of all, thanks for having us. And thanks to Wheaton Arms here in Piedmont, South Carolina for letting us come in and use their facility. When we saw those videos uh, back in December, we hired outside engineering firms to help us take a fresh look at our firearms because we had already passed National Institute of Justice testing, all the CME ANSI testing, but frankly, uh, when a firearm's abused, they will discharge. So we wanted to find out how do we overcome that. Uh, we identified ways to do that within two weeks and issued a voluntary upgrade for all of our customers because frankly, we want to be not only the number one American brand, but the best brand out there for semi-automatic single stack nines. And we found a way to do that. And today we're going to take care of Such's pistols. Very good. So let's get to it. Okay, Gary's going to walk us through the process, even though you're going to send your slide to Honor Defense. So just go ahead and show us what you're going to do, Gary. Yeah, you bet. So this is uh, this is Such's uh, long slide that he's uh, he's got here. By the way, this is the stainless steel back plate. We've got the metal sights. We'll just put it down on those. This is our stainless steel striker housing. That's our stainless steel striker block and our stainless steel striker. In case you think there's a theme going on here, there is. We use only high quality stuff. Now, one thing I want to note is that on the long slide, we never got it to discharge. Right. So, but we're going to do the upgrade anyway. Yeah, let's do it anyway. Why not? So we'll just remove the back plate. That springs under some pressure, so we'll put the retaining pin there. So by the way, this is the this striker block mechanically, physically blocks this striker from going forward. That's our, our drop safety, and we're just going to simply remove that. And we're just going to replace it with a new one. Drop that in there. I see some hammer marks here, <laughs> Mr. Such. <laughs> and that's it. That's we would it. then just put this back in the original package and ship it back to the customer. So what's happening is this spring right here has been stiffened up. Yes. And then the extension here on the striker has been just extended. Lengthened. Yeah, just extended. And that's it. Yes. So, and all new guns will have that already. So. Correct. Yeah. And we've we've tested this because this far exceeds SAMI standards, the outside laboratories aren't set up to do this. So we've done this. Um, if you go to our, our uh, Facebook page, uh, we have the treetop test where we're th throwing them 20 feet up in the air. Yeah, we've got that. the uh, Tom Brady test <laughs> where I heave at 40 yards. Uh, and we've also dropped it from 10 feet straight onto concrete. So we've got the fire that's been upgraded, uh, one of your two. Uh, this has had the bullet removed and the gunpowder taken out, the primer still in it. It's a nine millimeter. Let's go and load it and drop it and verify that this gun is fixed. You can see you've got some damage here from dropping before and <laughs> so this is the same gun. Yeah, same one. So let's go ahead and drop it. Instead of doing it at four feet, do you mind if I do it at six feet? No, I don't mind. All right, well, I'm gonna drop it from the grip because a lot of people have this 30 degree angle mentality. Here we go. Okay, so there is no discharge. Let's take a look. No indention in the primer. Still clean. Yeah. So the striker block and everything is working the way it should. Let's go a little higher. And this is a concrete floor. Concrete floor, I don't know, what do you think, my about... Uh, about 10 feet up. Yeah, that's a four foot or three foot, so I'm, I'm six footer, so let's put it up above. It didn't go off. Well, can I drop it again? Sure. All right. Hold on. All right. Let's take a look. Yeah. No. De no deformation on the primer at all. Very good. We appreciate the chance to uh, show everybody this. Thank you. 
And I want to thank Gary for stopping by and going ahead and making those upgrades to the pistol. So, Gary, what do people need to do if they want to upgrade their Honor Defense Honor Guard? Yeah, if you have a, uh, an Honor Defense pistol and you'd like to get the voluntary upgrade, uh, just go ahead and go on our website. There is a form to fill out online with your name and address and all that, email address. We will send you a mailing label. Just go ahead and send us your slide. Don't include the barrel. Don't include your guide rod. Just send us back your slide. We'll take care of you and get that right back to you. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, I'm a lot thinner in reality. All right, guys, you know, we've done some reviews. No. <laughs> you can hear this whole thing? You can hear the whole thing? <laughs> Unedited. No, he knows I'll edit. That's why he did it. He makes fun because we're ever sitting up camera stuff, but he'll go, me get soup size. <laughs> Time for soup size. Yeah, you bought my soup size. Yeah, when Phil was here, he was shorter than I was, so it made it kind of nice. Um, all right, y'all done? Come back and start this. Right. You know how hard it is for me to get started anyway. Let's get to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The magic of editing. Buddy. Let's order dinner in. Yeah. Take 73. Yeah. One time I did that, I said, take 1,001. And somebody said, really? I said, no. <laughs> Duh.